is what they were afraid George Bush was. Everything you were afraid George Bush was, that's what Rick Perry is. He, he is uh, George Bush on steroids. <laughs> um, that having been said, are, are the two men close? They do seem to have some history. No, there's no love lost there. Look, Rick Perry spent the last couple years first campaigning for Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York City, and then campaigning for himself, saying things like, George was always a spender. He was a spender in the 90s, and he was a spender as president. He, Rick was saying things to distance himself from establishment Republicans and legitimately throwing Bush under the bus. And that didn't sit well with the Bushes. And, and you can see that because in the last gubernatorial election in Texas, when, the, when Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison was running to boot Perry out of office, the whole Bush clan, from George Bush Sr. to Karl Rove and Dick Cheney, did everything from advise to endorse Kay Bailey Hutchison. There is no love lost between these two guys. So how much are Texans talking about this right now? The fact they have an ex-president and, and a potential next president um, who don't get along. Well, that, that issue isn't a big deal to Texans. I'll say this. Interestingly, Rick Perry is more popular with conservatives from outside of the state of Texas than he is with conservatives who are from the state of Texas. And it's really hard, John, to put your finger on what it is that as a conservative, as a Texan, you just don't like about Rick Perry. But I heard a writer the other day make a very apt comparison. He said, Rick Perry is a lot like Richard Nixon. Everything George Bush had that made you want to vote for him, charisma, charm, Rick Perry seems to have the anti-version of that. So how is anyone taking it seriously, and the Republicans are taking it very seriously, that this man could be elected president? Well, now listen, John, despite everything I just said, I've gone on the record and said, I think Rick Perry will be the next president of the United States. I don't think you can under overstate how vulnerable President Obama is. I think right now his approval ratings at this point in his presidency are at Jimmy Carter levels. He's lower than almost every president over the past 50 years. And Rick Perry is the guy that can go out there and tout a jobs record and honestly just be that alpha leader that very few other people in the Republican field can represent. I think he's got a very easy path to the nomination to face a very vulnerable president. Now, you call him an alpha leader because he's a Texan. Inevitably, people around the world are going to call him, as they already call George Bush, a cowboy. George Bush started two wars that have dragged on and gone badly. What can the world expect from candidate or president Rick Perry? Well, first of all, on that aesthetic side, on the, on the image side, I think that's completely overstated, John. I think Americans in particular like that Texas image, that cowboy image, that swagger in boots. It evokes leadership. On the actual policy side, I don't really know how much that had to do with George Bush launching two wars. Look, he was dealt a hand that was very different than the one he went into office with. How differently would Al Gore have handled that? We'll never know. Will Rick Perry be a cowboy in international affairs? You know, I don't think so. I don't think that's just a necessary corollary from the fact that he wears boots. Well, but people are already saying that he shoots from the hip, to use another cowboy metaphor. His comments about the chairman of the Federal Reserve, um, a lot of people say he says things that are unpresidential and make him unsuited for, for high office. Yeah, you know, John, that wasn't a, an appropriate comment from Rick Perry. You know, and I look at a comment like that, and I see a guy that I think probably at his core conviction level, at the level of principles, has it right. He's a conservative that believes in small government. He makes mistakes. You can only hope that a guy like Rick Perry will surround himself, as most presidents do, with people smarter than him. Will Kane, a new Rasmussen poll.